What's up, everybody? So, I learned something very interesting. And uh, first off, I'll have to talk about the ninja. The SK ninja, when u- using Bunshin no Jitsu, clones three times. And when using Desperate Move, clones two times. But nowhere in the ninja can he clone only once. Now, this is very important because... For a SK Ninja, the last clone when you have using SK is actually the strongest attack. So for the Ninja not to have that means we have to go through a series of attacks, either two attacks or three attacks before we get to the last strong attack. So let me do something in which the servant can do and that is to give the ninja one clone and one clone only so now after I've given him her the clone I will actually use spell boost on Mitch and we're gonna go into 170 by doing this I have allowed the first hit to be the strongest hit for the SK Ninja. So let me show you. And that was it. One hit from my SK did 5-5-5 five, 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 and that was enough to kill Master Sorrow. So we'll do that again a few times and then I'll let me and then I'll show you what it's like without giving the ninja the clone. I also wanted to tell you that because I was able to hit Sorrow with one kill, one hit, one kill, he didn't poison me and he didn't drain my HP. So the ninja walked out of it with full health and a little MP being used. Now this time I am not going to clone the ninja and I will show you what the ninja has to do in order to get to the last hit. So the ninja right now is doing Bunshin and spell boost attack number one attack number two and had problems with it and he drained all of my MP so I can't just readily attack. So even if it was successful where the ninja was able to kill him with two shots, which usually happens, you end up at a point where all your HP and MP has been drained by Master Sorrow. So you would need a high wizard or a bishop to heal both of those factors. Now the servant is able to do the healing and soul connect and by soul connecting I'm able to heal at a higher rate or amount sorry so we'll wait till the MP comes back a little bit now this time I wanted to do a little bit more of the miracle to show you guys how fast these runs are with the SK and the Servant. So all the SK does is spell boost, one hit, he's dead. Ninja did 553 damage. 553k damage.
So by doing this, it's very quick, and also you skip the BS on the, all the poison and HP MP drain and the minus luck, etc. I mean, all those stuff are just negative things that you don't need, and when you do it with this method, it works quite well. So I'll show you one more time, hopefully the next one is successful, in which the SK Ninja does not use Miracle and uses Bunshin no Jitsu, which is its own skill instead, and how you end up, because what happens is that you kind of need full MP, because the second, the first, after the first attack, Sorrow will take away a section of your MP, so you need to have enough MP to do the second SK attack. So we would actually need to wait till Mitch has full MP and then the attack can begin. By using Highness Bless, I have already increased uh, the amount of recovery. So it will only be a little bit. But mainly, if you're interested in farming 170 and you so happen to have a friend that's a SK or you're a friend that's a servant and you're the SK, you can easily do this method and do quick farms for medals because as you see, one hit, he's dead, there's a chance he may get a chest. So here goes, Mitch is going to attack. So that was successful. Mitch was able to attack without any assistance uh, in regards to the buffs and stuff. She only got the Blessed, Highness Bless, and that was it. But as you can see, what happens after every round is this whole MP HP drain that is really no good for the farm. Even if you had a healer to heal through this, it still drains you to the point where it takes time to heal, but if you were to do it with the method where you use Miracle onto Mitch, then once Mitch spell boosts, Mitch can attack. So that's the great thing about the pair in which the SK Ninja benefits from the servant skill in which no other character can provide this ability to the SK Ninja. And like I mentioned before, I would have to have full, almost full MP to solo him without the help of the servant, but with the help of the servant, I could do it with one shot and still have low MP and do it. Those are the advantages of working together in this type of group so if you have any comments or questions or anything you'd like to share please leave your comments and i would love to read them thank you so much for watching Let's check you guys out next time